Hello again. So, this morning, I decided to take the R8 for a little run over to Cafe Mealy in Orland and pick up some breakfast for the family. Uh, nice, beautiful morning here this morning. Perfect blue sky, pretty warm. Had a great drive over there, no problems. Was driving home and uh, I acquired a uh, police officer friend uh, shortly before I made it to my neighborhood and he decided to pull me over uh, right when I pulled into my neighborhood, which was nice of him. I get a lot of my neighbors to get me, see me pulled over, uh, which is always fun. Uh, so he walks up to the car and, and I'll still always give Damon Fryer credit for this from DDE. You know, he made a video some time ago about, you know, ways to uh, sort of endear police officers to you, hopefully avoid a ticket and stuff. And the first thing I remember from that is always to roll your windows down, especially if you have tinted windows, and to keep your hands on the top of the steering wheel and basically let, let them get up to the car before you do anything. Don't pull your license out, anything like that. So I always do that because I've been pulled over a few times, and uh, uh, that's always kind of worked well for me, uh, or at least it seems like it has. So the cop pulls me over, and the first thing he says as he walks up to the car is, uh, go into the track. And I said, uh, no, I'm uh, bringing breakfast home for my family, because I had it in the passenger seat, uh, which is kind of a weird comment for him to make. I, I don't know if it was a joke or what, but uh, this guy definitely seemed like he was familiar with cars, because uh, he immediately says, uh, hey, you know you need a back bumper on your car, right? And I said, uh, yeah, I've got a crash bar, you know, part of the frame bar there. And he says, no, you need a real bumper. I said, okay, yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to deal with that. You know, he says, where is it? And I said, oh, it's in my garage. And I said, uh, yeah, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to, you know, get to putting it back on. And uh, the next thing he says is, uh, uh, you know, you, you can't, uh, you can't put a different exhaust in your car to make it louder. You need to use the one that comes with the car. And I said, oh, yeah, uh, well, you know, oops. <laughs> And, uh, and then, of course, my luck, he happens to take a walk around the front of the car. He says, oh, where's your front plate? And I'm like, oh, come on. Uh, and I said, you know, use my usual excuse, which was, uh, oh, yeah, you know, my kids broke the bracket. And I had to order a new one. I'm waiting for it and everything. Uh, and that's worked for me before, actually. I didn't deliver it very convincingly this time. But uh, nonetheless, uh, the, the thing I could tell, though, about this guy was that he knew about cars. And uh, he didn't seem to be giving me a whole lot of hard time about it. Fortunately, I wasn't speeding at the time, uh, but I had downshifted, I think, in the vicinity of him before I saw him, before I took it out of sport mode. So, uh, so anyway, he says, okay, you know, give me your license and insurance, and he walks back to the car, and, and I'm waiting there, and I'm, you know, doing the mental math here to see, like, how long it's taken him, figuring, like, oh, geez, is he gonna, you know, is he gonna get me, or what's he gonna do? And uh, he comes back to the car, and he's got this string of paper, and I'm like, oh, no. He goes, okay, well, I got some warning tickets here for the exhaust and the bumper. Uh, and he gives me those, you know, we chat a little bit, and he says, oh, you know, he leaves me with, uh, well, it looks nice, don't scratch it. And I'm like, all right, cool, you know, like, so nice. Cops obviously are just looking out for our well-being and everything, and he was a pretty cool guy, so I uh, uh, felt pretty fortunate to avoid uh, any, uh, any real tickets in that case. But that's my, uh, that's my getting pulled over this morning story, so... Uh, Good times and uh, yeah, ended up with, with good fun and a little string of paper and no worries. Have a good one.